It's Ben Stiller's Rockumentary. You too, the early years. It was very difficult for us when we were starting out. We had this horrible old manager who didn't understand what we were trying to do with our music. I loved those boys like they were my own sons. They came to me, you know. Oh, yeah. Mr. Kincaid used to drive us about in this ramshackled old multicolored school bus, taking us from gig to gig, screaming about how we were going to make it big in show business. Yeah, I was full of ideas back then. We wanted to get a little girl to play tambourine with us, but we nixed that one. With Bono, it was always about the message. So I gave him a message. If Joel Wasserstein doesn't have fun at his bar mitzvah, you're not getting paid. Comprende? Baruch atah Hashem, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher natan lanu, Torah met. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I hope you're all having a good time here at Joel's bar mitzvah. We're all real proud of him. Look at him, the very vision of manhood. And how about Leo Krupnik, who made that great gefilte fish sculpture, huh? Everybody taste the gefilte fish sculpture, it's great. Okay, Joel, get up here. Come on up here, Joel. And I hope everybody's ready to dance the horror and the hokey pokey soon. I don't want to see anybody sitting. Let's give him a hand, Joel. Yeah, today Joel is a man. Okay, Edge, play the blues. I'll tell you something else. I'm sick and tired of what's going on in Northern Ireland. Okay, so it wasn't Carnegie Hall. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. And now, back to Ben Stiller's rockumentary. You two, the early years. Let me tell you something about Bono. The kid never stopped trying to make a buck. Worse than Danny Partridge. He was very materialistically oriented, you know, and that's not what you two is about. You know, we're not about the glitz and the glamour the money and the fame and the power and the touring and the money. Well, maybe we are about that a little bit, but well, I guess that is what we are about. He should have named that group Me Too, not You Too. It's all about him. When you people, you want me to be a god and then you look at me and then you say, I can't be a god, so I'm telling you to buzz off because I don't even know what a god is, you know? I just pull my pants down and go to the bathroom like anybody else, but 50,000 people want to watch, then hell, I'll do it for them, you know? Yeah, when all else fails, there's always product endorsements. <laughs> cereal, an important part of this well-balanced breakfast, now with a fun new surprise in each specially marked package. Did I eat too much? More than a lot? You give me one box, now it's all I got. One bowl and we got to share it, man. Got to share it.
was a great idea, but nobody ever saw it. Well, after that, I quit the business. Hey, who needs you too? Let me tell you something. I think I love you sold more copies than let it be. After that, everything else is gravy. <laughs> You're darn right. Who's ever driving the red, the saber? If you could please move it. And Sadie is trying to get out. You're blocking her. She has to get to her. To her urologist appointment. he got on you. I was working for the network. He blames me for canceling the monsters. Come out, come out, wherever you are. This guy threatened you? Yeah, but he's clever, so the law can't touch him. I'm just saying I...